Good evening, Collective. We have a reading for tonight, which is going towards tomorrow, which is Monday. I wanted to leave you with something as today I was just overcoming a cold that's been here way too long. Welcome back to the channel. It is your Ari. It's Libra Light Readings. On the split, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of effort and practical and logical work this week at your place of occupation you're going to be busy i think things are going to flow very nicely however and we're going to check out the highest point of the energy tonight and i'm just i'm starting to feel better so we're going to go with the first half of mystical moments i have the emperor at the bottom of the deck to the three of wands it's about expansion so you could see this card at some point between tuesday wednesday and thursday your expansion looks like it's solo and single or you walked away from something very recently. We do have an emperor in the background, or that is you. Thank you, spirit and angels. We have the five of wands. There could be a new conflict that has arisen. But I feel like you're also, too, choosing to walk away from whatever this is. The five of wands for Monday. Let's see what else is influencing four of wands, a relationship that wants to come in for you or some loving feelings. Four of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I'm getting something about a new person in your life too. They could be a fire sign of some kind. I'm getting more Aries and Leo, like those two signs. We have two cards that are popping out. Five of Pentacles and the Hierophant for tonight. Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your commitments are to go where you feel the best. Highest vibrations. Again, I'm going to keep repeating because it's going to land you somewhere. And I feel like it even could be a lucrative business opportunity for some of you. That could be in work. And I also feel like you're focused on a lot more practical things this week with justice. This is everything comes back to karma. This is everything is set right or it's put in motion to be right with the justice card. You could be feeling more aligned as you go through your week. It's also a card of alignment. Who's this four of ones? Two of cups for tonight. Two of Cups from Mystical Moments. All it means is a desired partnership and it is a divine card of love. There's someone who like, I want to say for the majority of you, cradles you. It's almost like it's a protective energy that's around many of you. Again, with that fire sign, because I looked at the Five of Wands and that might actually also be them. Thank you, Spirit and Angels. We have the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups for Monday. You might see these cards repeat or they're in the beginning part of tomorrow's videos for many of you who watch tarot often. Knight of Cups is someone with a cup of love. There's like a new person here for some of you after a time of loss or a time of lack, scarcity with the Five of Pentacles or feeling like you were left out in the cold in a situation. Many of you dealt with a tower accordingly is what I also see here. Bottom of the deck is the Temperance card. There could be connections to Sagittarius. Ten of Cups also. Okay, so that Ten of Cups is also a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that kind of oversees what's going on with you too. I feel like you're even a romantic this week. Some of you could be this Knight of Cups card as well. So the Three of Cups is coming up. Some expansion. What's the, um? I'm going to move decks now. What's the three of wands that we see here? What's that three of wands to the two of cups? Page of pentacles, a new offer or something comes walking into your life that has a new step to it. So this is like um, a new thing that has sparked definitely, which could be a hobby. It could be something that you're watching these days and you're learning from high priestess too. You stay very intuitive throughout the week. You might be getting some of your signs Libra, like the common things that you associate to your story. And it comes back, it's even in larger view. I feel like it's not in grayscale anymore. It's in color for a lot of you. King of Wands and the Hermit are also here. Hermit, King of Wands. The beautiful thing about this story is the King of Wands is a new person. It's not an old person in this reading. Who's the Hermit? Who's the Hermit, please? Thank you. Three of Swords, Ace of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who's a student, also learning through the truth. That Justice card is big, you guys, to be in the environment. I think we're going to see this a lot more this week come out for you. An apology, which is sideways. Page of Cups came in like that. Okay, so there's 
a loving offer here from someone who could be a water sign. Pisces, very prevalent. I also see a lot of Earth, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what justice brings up in this particular situation. The Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is incoming, passionate messages, impulsive too. They might even strike you as surprising or somebody connects to you. Knight of Swords to the Justice card. Why is there a huge, like, I sense a lot of shifts with these major arcanas. The star. Star is the conclusion. You've been protective. You've been isolated. Whenever I see the hermit and the star, it's someone like who's protecting their journey and fighting for it. And as you see, there's a lot of solemn energy, but it's also very surprising. I feel like there's a turn that happens as this new enlightenment comes in this week, which is the 5th through the 11th. I do want to thank you for your time. The bottom of the deck is messages. This continues through Tuesday. The King of Pentacles for Wednesday and the Nine of Pentacles for Thursday. There's a lot of abundant energy to work alone. Many of you are business holders or you are your own, I would say boss. You're your own boss. You could work from home, work remotely. But there's messages that are consistent throughout the week. And I have that for your first video. We're going to do a three card spread for what's coming in for singles. And it's already going to be for Monday.